Now this row is a little bit different, but from now on those front post double crochets are going to be a whole lot easier. So this first chain two counts as one of the border stitches. So we'll do the next one in the top of there. And then, okay, so on this, on the back side of this row, the front post double crochet from the previous row, you can see it popping a little bit there. You're just going to go through the top of that one. Now the two that you did go through the top of, I want you to do a front post double crochet around those. So in this case, it's going to be much easier. You're not having to go through the top and back as you are going around the whole post. You're not going through the top of the stitch and back through the next one. So go around the back of that post yarn over and then just finish a double crochet like you normally would the same as before more or less only easier now do another front post double crochet around that next one and that's your first multiple of three that's oh no beg my pardon that one was for the edge so this next one through the top Now you've done your first multiple of three only in reverse. So where you did the one front post double crochet and two in the top on this side, you'll do one in the top and two front post double crochets. I know that made perfect sense. It did in my head. You might need to rewind or ask me a question if I'm confusing you. It's the, the second tutorial, let's not break this one. Okay, through the top of the next stitch I want you to remember when you get to the end of here you're going to have three crochets in the top of the stitch through the top of that this time like you have been doing and then through the top of those two edge stitches as well. Once you get a couple of rows in it will start to look obvious you can you can flip it back over and see where you were and the pattern is beginning to form into those little cells, the little, I was going to say honeycomb, but they're square. All right, so we do the two chain, which counts as that first double crochet once again. Now we crochet the next one through the top, double crochet for our border, and then we front post that first one to go with the edge. And that, that closes up that last little square, which you'll absolutely see clear as day in a minute. Now, we are back to doing it the same as we did on the first setup row. So we'll continue now with the next two double crochets into the top of each stitch. And one front post double crochet around the next one and you can see now it's very obvious which one you front post around the one that's sticking up each of those so we'll do a few more together double crochet through the top of those two stitches and front post around the one that's popping out double crochet double crochet and front post around the one that's popping out. So continue that across to the end and I will meet you when you get to the last three. Now we're at the last three I want you to double crochet around this 
front post double crochet, which this one doesn't pop out as much as the other two, but once you crochet around it this time, you'll see it makes it stick out that much more. So the next time around, it's going to be even more obvious, as will the back side of this row. So crochet through the top of the next one and then through the top of the chain two, which is your turning, um, the chain two that counts as your double crochet. Now chain two and we'll turn for row six. Now row six, you have done the two chains, so there's your first double crochet, double crochet into the top of this one, and just like before, we are going to do it in reverse. So we will crochet through the top of one, and double crochet around the front of two. Oops. Around the front of two. Double crochet into the top of one. And double front post double crochet around the next two. So continue on like so. Double crochet into the top of one stitch. And then front post double crochet around each of the next two stitches. Continue on to the end of the row and chain two and turn your work. And then I'll show you how to finish up your baby blanket project. So hit the pause button now and I'll see you there. You can see now it is really, really starting to look cool. So this is all you will do for the entire project. So let me just get you started on this one for row seven. I've done the chain two, which counts as that first double crochet. A little bit of loopy junk going on here. Double crochet into the top of the next stitch. And then start with your one front post double crochet. And a double crochet into the top of each of the next two stitches and you'll be able to follow along here easily now I'm sure you've been able to do so already as far as seeing which is the sticky up one to do the the front post double crochet that's my technical terminology there so continue this going back and forth until you have the desired length for your baby blanket You've started off with 120 wide. You might like to stop when it's square or you might like to make it a little bit longer so you have a big rectangle. Either way, it doesn't matter. When you get to the very end, let me just show you what to do there. Um, we'll leave that chain two there. Now, when you've decided that it's long enough, do a single crochet all the way across the top of the row. So if you remember that goes, don't put the yarn over first. Just go through the top of the stitch, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over and pull through two. Through the top of the stitch, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over and pull through two. And just do that all the way to the end of the row and then cut your yarn and fasten off. So you'll have this little single crochet row edge the same as you do on this end. And it will make your edge look a lot neater too. It just kind of finishes it off nicely in my opinion. You don't need to put it there, but I like to have both ends the same. So that's the project. And I hope you will post a comment and uh, post down below in the comments if you have any questions. I'll be happy to come back and answer those. And that's all there is to it. And you'll end up with something that looks like this. Or you can use this beautiful striped yarn and make it something that looks more like this. I appreciate you greatly. Have a good day. Love you. Bye.